Well, hello, here we are for another Q&A, number 79, anyway. Okay, <laughs> I, I hate to say what number it is because I'm usually wrong, but I think it's 79. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Christina Talanda. Good. I said it right? That's how okay. I, I don't know what right is, but that's how I would have said it. Okay, good. Uh, hello there, how... Uh, hey there. Oh, hey there, I hope your summer is going well. Fun Q&A, thank you. Is your mom and dad still alive? And uh, she says she hasn't canned for ye several years. A lot of work. Tell me, do most people need emergency food storage? What about water, or is that, uh, or is that you are in Utah? Thanks and best to you. Okay, well, uh, the first one is: Are uh, my mom and dad still alive? No, they died for, uh, away. four years ago. Passed away four years ago. Dad in August of 2012 and mom in December, Christmas Day of 2012. Huh. So within four months of each other. And Papa O's parents have passed away. It's been long. Fifteen years 15 or more. Fifteen years or more. Okay. And uh, she says, I do most, see, uh, canning is a lot of work. Yeah, that's why I freeze everything. Canning there. as in bottles, right? Yeah, you, or you can it and uh, preserve it for a future time. Okay, it says, do most people need emergency food storage? And I say everybody needs food storage. You never depend on somebody else for your food. Well, like what, <clears throat> what happened in Texas, people were yeah. people were charging $2,000 just for some bottled water. Just for some water. and. Yeah. Uh, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Yep. Yeah, water purifiers. It's just like the story of the grasshopper and the ant. And the grasshopper would store its food and the ant wouldn't. And, uh, you know, that little cartoon show, um, Bug's Life or something like that. But it's just wise, uh, because you, you could have, a, it doesn't have to be a natural disaster like what, what was in text what's going on with Texas right now. It could be you lose your job, it could be uh, you have a house fire or something, and to depend on somebody else just isn't wise. You need to have at least at least a year's food storage. But the idea is you're using and rotating your food storage. Yeah, you rotate it, and that's, Joe, uh, Papa O worked in Albertson's grocery store for 20 12, years. 20 years. And they always rotate. That's when you stock the shelves, you rotate the, you put the, the new into the back and, and bring the older stuff to the front. So yeah. if you want the new stuff, reach in the back of the aisle <laughs> of the shelf. But uh, yes, and what about water? Yes, uh, you can only store so much, uh, but you can buy water purifiers. And there's something called a drinking straw uh, that pure, you can drink out of a toilet. It, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't want to, but you can, or drink right out of a stream and it, well, through this straw and it purifies but your filters water. It, it filters it, yes. <coughs> um, I'll put a link on how to get, get to that filter, but you need water, you need food, you, you need to take care of yourself. You need yeah. to be self-sufficient. And you can depend on others, but, you know, it's kind of a risk. It's gamble. And it, and says, is it because you're in Utah? And say, no, you, uh, it doesn't matter where you live. Uh, get your food storage and be be prepared for whatever's happened. We've, we've lived off our f food storage um, because if you don't have much money, then uh, you need s some way to survive. And uh, she says, thanks, bestie. Oh, yeah, we said that. But... Don't depend on others. Um, take take care of yourself. And I just spent ten dollars a week to build our food storage. I would forego the chips and the cookies and the donuts, and just take ten dollars buy a bag of wheat. Then the next week, so it took a year to build up my food by wheat. And then next year I I bought honey and the next salt and then you know enough to make bread with and. Okay, and and that, that that's a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. Okay, you want to answer, ask the next one? Kimberly Niven, you said you freeze primarily. Is that is there anything you do not keep the food from getting freezer burn? Seems like I, when I freeze things, it all gets freezer burn. 
good Q and A as usual. I would like a Jammies picture. I'll, oh yeah. Also, yeah. is there a way we can get Judy's music too? Yes, these are all good questions. Um, the I do primarily freeze everything because of the nutritional value, and freeze drying is good too. But it uh, you have to pay the money out for that. Um, and freezer burn uh, if you keep it rotated. Uh, and you you can't really eat anything more than a year old. Keep it rotated and make sure you write the dates on it and stuff. And the new thing now is freeze drying. It lasts up to 25 years. It's about $3,000 for a freeze dryer. Or as long as your <coughs> fridge uh, keeps it cold. Yeah, and then we have a generator so we can uh, keep our freezers going but boy in a flood i don't you can't run your generator in a flood yeah. but they did they said they didn't lose their um electricity so they uh, still only have some parts uh, some, part some lost parts some. lost and some didn't yeah. but boy be be prepared you just never know um and the freezer burn just make sure you package it in freezer bags and then keep it rotated and and dated um, and we'll we'll get you a jammies picture when I get the professional one. Rochelle, my daughter will probably get them out in at Christmas time. And we got a. I'm still working on getting my sister on iTunes. She just doesn't. You know, I'm I'm married to a computer guy here, so he helps me with getting all that up there. But she, I've just got to maybe get on the phone with her and help her uh, get that you, onto iTunes. Is that true? You can't directly put one up there. You have to go through an agency. Well, we, you send your CD to iTunes and then, then they post it. Oh, if it. it's a whole album. Yeah, you have to have it song, on a, a CD. Song, you, you can do a single one. Can you? Yeah. yeah. And I went through CD Baby uh, 20 years ago and they put me on iTunes. But we'll have to see because Judy has some great songs and I told her just to get on YouTube, but it's hard to get uh, somebody who doesn't know about computers, how to get things going. Okay, Sherry Baby, Mom, Mama, you're such a beautiful person inside. Thank you very much. And out. And out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, could you do a video on how to take care of your skin and hair? That's where you got the idea. That's where I got it. the idea. I could uh, get ready with me or daily nightly beauty routine and that's how I got the idea and I just posted that last Friday and I'll put a link to that and the other links I, I did a I did do a get ready with me where I actually had the camera on me when I didn't have makeup on and I put the makeup on and did curled my hair I yeah I did I speeded it up and um and so I'll post that and thanks for the great idea that was actually a lot of fun and I didn't think anybody would be interested in something like that, but people are. You went, oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> As I was kind of thinking uh, that that would not be interesting, but it actually was, and it was a lot of fun to make. So thanks so much. Oh, and the same, with the same question with uh, Sherry Baby. And does Papa O ever watch the Red Green show I on used, PBS? I, I don't know where to find it there because I love that show. And mm -hmm. I used to watch it all the time. Yeah, and it says you look like the main character. I'll post a picture of the, of the Red Green guy and Papa O. So there, so there are reruns, I guess, but still, I, I love that. I'm going to do some searching, because I, yeah. I didn't know I could find we it love, any place. We love that show. Yeah, and I did, um, I did uh, just Google it and found a picture of him, so I'll post a picture of that. And put a picture of me yeah, right, 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 right next sides. to the red-green guy, the duct tape guy. You can fix anything with duct tape. Well, that's <laughs> so, true. So funny. Okay, anyway. Uh, Diane Sullivan, you made the butter. Wow. <laughs> yes, um, I was doing my cream puffs. That's what it was. And I had some cream in the fridge and it had just expired that day. And I thought, oh, great. I, I'm making cream puffs and I don't need the cream. Uh, I don't want it to throw this away. The poor cow gave you know, this cream to us and to just throw it away seems silly. So I thought, oh, I'll make butter out of it. So you just put it in the mixer for five minutes, and Starts when the the water separates, 
uh, when the when it gets watery and buttery, you know the water separates from it, and then you got yourself butter. Okay, I should do a DIY on that, but yeah. maybe that wouldn't be too interesting. Do I you don't have know. Time? We, we've once in a while we'll uh, eat margarine if we're at somebody's house and they don't have butter. But we've never bought margarine for ourselves, have we? I don't trust it. And, and I don't Dave, trust it either. No, me and Davy have that discussion because Davy won't eat butter. Michelle won't either. But and I said, oh, margarine's not good for you, and and they say, no, butter's not good for you. So that's a ongoing years, years and years discussion of <laughs> margarine and butter. I want to know how many you eat butter and how many of you eat margarine. Well, where where I butter think people? Margarine just has a lot of fat in it. it. It's just vegetables or so. I don't know what it is, but I like the real McCoy. But let me know below. That rhymes. If you're a butter person or a margarine I, person. I remember in the 50s when ma margarine first came out, they included some dye to dye it yellow so it looked like butter, but you were supposed to put it in and mix it. To sort of go yellow with the dye they sent you. Oh, yuck. <laughs> well, it looked like butter. Yeah, the they had to have the yellow color. But um, let us know what you guys are. Um, but if Davy and Rochelle were to comment below, my son and daughter, they would say margarine. But no, I. I like butter. Well, are they but, doing it because of the cost? Because it's cheaper? No. Well, maybe a little bit, but because of the, they think it helps you lose weight. They think butter makes you chubby and and margarine keeps you skinny. That's another conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's another, it's another subject. Okay. Bonnie Barber, what exactly are sprouts and what do they do for you? Um, I'll pause for a minute and go get the seeds. Okay, I ran in the kitchen quick to get my sprouts bag. It says alfalfa plus, uh, and it's just seeds. It's alfalfa and oh, a bunch of others. It doesn't. Can you read what it says on there? And uh, sprouts okay. are alfalfa, cabbage, clover, and radish. Oh, and radish. Okay, so those that's the mix here. Or you can just do alfalfa. Just soak it but in it, water. But it doesn't mean you're you're gonna wait till. It, radishes start coming out and cabbage starts coming out. It's just the, the heart of it, the mm -hmm. heart of the seed. So these seeds are really good to keep in your food well, storage. Why don't you show them from the fridge what it looks like? Well, we fire. ate all the sprouts. Oh. I don't have any. It goes but, fast. Sprouts <laughs> are slightly sweet and but I'll, delicious. But I'll find a picture in, at, from the past of when I, I've got to sprout some more. But um, these are a good food storage item because they've uh, you can sprout them and wheats wheat you can sprout if it doesn't sprout it's gone bad but that's how you can tell if a seed is good or not if it'll sprout but you just soak it water overnight and then just let it grow so one of my all water time, it three times a day my all-time favorite things to eat is Roseanne's whole multi-grain wheat bread and then we put put the butter on it and then butter, we put, not margarine and then we put a thin slice of cheese and and on the cheese, I think we put a little bit of uh, mayonnaise, mayonnaise mm -hmm. on it, and then, and then we put sprouts on it and just a teeny bit avocado of Avocado and tomatoes. Yeah, avocado That's and tomatoes. That's his favorite sandwich, yeah. Just really good. Anyway, uh, so sprouts, uh, wheat sprouts have all your vitamins that you need. Um, and alfalfa sprouts, uh, A, C, D, um, a to Z. Uh, uh, that helps your hair grow. It it uh, puts calcium. You you get your calcium. You get your. Um, uh, it, it just. I, I should get the list and uh, I'll have to post a link <laughs> of what sprouts do for you. But it's uh, just really good for you. Um, it's got. It has all the vitamins that you need. So especially in a disaster, you can. Sprout those in three days. You've got yourself all your vitamins that you need, and then keep those, uh, keep the sprouts coming. Um, but uh, sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, will help you from uh, th your hair thinning. It keeps your hair thicker. And um, so, what happens? You have the seed, and as it absorbs water, a little blade of 
It starts uh, to sprout. It starts to sprout. A little mm -hmm. blade comes out, and so when they're about this this long, they're just ready to put in a salad. Mm -hmm. And you can make a whole salad with the sprouts. But I'll post a link on on. I can't, we don't have time to go through all the things that sprouts do for you. Um, let's see, should we do one more? Yeah, one more. Oh, and Peachums talks about the sprouts too. It says, what do you use to grow your sprouts? Um, yeah, but you can get special I'll container. go get, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I use a jar to soak the seeds in overnight and I put a nylon across the top. What's the nylon for now? So I can drain the water out. Oh, yeah. And then, um, and then after I soak those over, I, I have this little sprouting tray that, that I put them, I, I put them in there, and then I can, it's got holes in it so that you can spray, you have to spray water on them three times a day. No, but and does one come up through every little hole there? No, they. I pour them on top, and and the wa that this is just so the water can drain. Oh, I see. Maybe I can do a DIY on those. That would be Could on how to sprout because uh, not everybody knows how to sprout. So I'll do a DIY on how to sprout. Okay, uh, so that's that's how I grow my sprouts, and it only takes three days, and you can eat them. And the kids think they're not going to like them, but they're really good. And then I can keep that in the fridge for up to two weeks. Okay. Oh, let's do one more. Rafael. Rafael. Okay. There's a, there's a Latin name for the German. Okay, German say name. it. Rafael Wertzner Bor Borges. I don't know. Sounds French. Yeah, well, uh, Papa knows how to say those. Or Borges. He knows Borges. how to pronounce them better than me. What is your favorite ice cream? Okay, we'll close on that one because... We want to go have ice cream now. My favorite is burnt almond fudge. What's not, yours? Not bad. I like the homemade brands. Strawberry. Strawberry. What's the brand? That, what's the brand that I like? Briars. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. Briars. Briars. Briars, because they just do cream, sugar, eggs, and. I think once you decide on milk. a flavor of ice cream, you stay with it your whole life, mm -hmm. and you feel like. Part of our family is, is a chocolate, something with chocolate in it, and part of us are vanilla and Ooh, green the mint. Flavors. The kid, grandkids love green Most mint. Most of them like chocolate, and I like either, I like vanilla. And then stir it and make it creamy. Stir all the air out of it. But okay. And yours is strawberry. Okay, we'll close with a couple of quotes. Um, Where'd you get the quotes? If you do what you always did, you will always get what you've always got. <laughs> if you always do what you always do, you'll always get what you've always got. So if your plan one is to accomplish such and such, and you've been on it for 20 years, uh, I, well, would, I would switch to a plan B. Well, like the, the most talked subjects about on YouTube, on books, on anything, is weight loss and making money. And people make a lot of money. High is the top YouTuber with 54.4 million subscribers. <sighs> That's our Alexa talking. Okay. No, anyway. What made her talk? I don't know. Did you say Alexa? Uh, I didn't. Okay. And so, if you're not rich, it's because you're always doing what you always have done, and you're not going get, to get anywhere different. And if you're the same weight, it's because you're always you're doing the same thing, and you're not doing anything different. So, if you want something different, you got to do something different to get different results. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Alexa, give me a famous quote. <laughs> okay, get, she thinks Alexa, it's a give song. me a quote by Einstein. Alexa, famous quote, Einstein. <laughs> Intellectual growth should commence at birth and cease only at death. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Knowledge of what is does not open the door directly to what should be. It was the experience. Alexa, of stop. Even if Alexa, stop. Alexa, quiet. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Tell her to stop. Alexa, stop. Whoa, she listened to you. Okay. Alexa was too long winded. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Think of it. Dream of it. Live on that idea. Mm. Let the brain, muscle, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. 
Mm. What do you think of that? That's actually that's what I have when I'm learning foreign languages. You focus I, on that. Everything I do is, is concentrated. Yeah, when Papa would want to learn a language, he would go live in that country. This is before he married me. He would go live in the country and would refuse to speak English. And he would study the grammar, and within a year, he knew the language. He would speak it every day. Um, what else? But some of the languages are so close that, for example, I knew Spanish and French, and that made Italian and Portuguese very easy because they mm. all come from uh, Latin. Wouldn't be easy for me. It's one of your gifts. Oh, <laughs> okay, thank, anyway, thank you, uh, we'll go ahead and close. And uh, we'll just want to th make sure you give a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And good night till the next Q&A. And last Terrible. night for the Q&A, we forgot to say kiss good night. So I'm going to, we're going to do it now. And then uh, I'll add it. Ooh. I got my cowboy boots well, on. That's why I don't have, I don't have shoes on. It's not like I've been shrinking. <laughs> you worried about that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And good night, everybody. Good night. There, we'll add that to our Q&A. <laughs>